Welcome back. We are in module three, working with quadratic functions and um, graphs. And we are specifically looking at this lesson six, where we are completing the square um, for these quadratics. We're taking a quadratic that is not a perfect square, and we're rewriting it in such a way that we create a perfect square. So refreshing our memory here, um, we had a quadratic expression here that was not a perfect square quadratic expression, right? If you look back at our patterns up here, when we had these up here that were perfect square quadratic expressions, right? All of these C terms were perfect squares, and they're, um, that allows us to find you know, the numbers here. All these numbers kind of correspond to the square root of those C terms. But what happens when we have a number that doesn't square root easily? Okay, what do we do here? We have to complete the square. We have to adjust that three, adjust this original problem so that it creates perfect square. So when we have the x squared plus 8x, right, we rewrite that, and we look for what number here would create then a perfect square. Since we know that we have to have an 8x, right, then we need a 4 and a 4. Now, why can't we just, like, you know, because the 4 here will multiply with the x, the 4 here will multiply with that x, okay? Why 4 and 4, though? Why can't we do, like, 3 and 5, right? Because 3 plus 5 makes 8, or 2 plus 6 makes 8. And, yeah, you could put a 3 and a 5 in here, and 3x and 5x would make this 8x here. But the problem is, x plus 3 times x plus 5 is no longer a perfect square, because you're multiplying two different things. For a square, if we're trying to make a perfect square, we're trying to complete the square here, we need these two numbers to be the exact same, so that these two binomials are exactly the same, and it creates a perfect square here. So 3 and 5 are no good. So we essentially have two things we're looking for here. We want two numbers that, mul that add to make that middle term, but that are also the same. And so that's gotta be four and four. Okay, by putting those fours in, we create a new problem though, because we didn't have any number in here. So we bring in this plus 16, okay? But by adding a 16, we have to balance that out by subtracting a 16, so that truly, we're really just adding a total of zero to the problem, okay? And so then um, we'll combine the three and the minus 16 out here to make minus 13, and then this just becomes the square x plus four quantity squared, okay? And this is exactly the same as this, except now we have this perfect square here. All right, so let's see some more examples of this. So in here, um, again, let's go ahead and pretend, actually, no, I'll go ahead and spread this out. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna put in here, and I'll put that 15 here on the end. Okay, so let's think about this. Oops, not x, a. So we want a, we want to multiply these two binomials together to get this up here. We know that this number will multiply with a, this number here will multiply with this a, and together they will add to make a negative four. So they need to be, these two numbers, this number and this number need to be the same, and they add to negative four. So what two numbers are the same that add to make negative four? The answer is negative two. Okay, so there we go. A times A will give us the A squared. Negative two, whoops. Negative two times A, negative two times A, they add will make the negative four A. And so then what's supposed to go in here? What's missing in here? The answer is a positive four. Okay, so we're adding a four from out of nowhere here. And so we will have to subtract a four over here <coughs> to balance it out, which means we will have a 11. So we'll have a minus two squared plus 11. And that'll be our answer. Okay, let's try this next one here. n squared minus two n minus 15. Okay, so um, for this one, oops, again, we'll, we'll break it up. So n squared minus two n, we'll separate that minus 15 out. Okay, let's just focus on the quadratic here. We'll leave a little blank for ourselves. So in this case, these two numbers, right? this number will multiply with this n, this number will multiply with this n, and they'll add to make negative two. So what two numbers add to make negative two? Remember, they also have to be the same number, too. So it's going to be negative one. And then what's missing here, then? Well, negative one times negative one is positive one. 
So we added one out of nowhere, we're gonna subtract one over here to balance it out, to make zero. So we're not really changing the value of this problem, but we're changing how it looks. So negative 15 minus one is negative 16. And so our final result here is n minus one squared um, minus 16. <coughs> okay. Let's see here, how many more do we have? Okay, we'll do two more and then we'll stop the video. Okay, next one. Again, just separate out. Bring the minus 40 out here. Okay. And so again, we need two numbers. This will multiply with C, that's gonna multiply with that C, and together they will add to make 20. So we know these two numbers have to add to make, these two numbers have to add to make 20, okay? But they also need to be the same, again, to create that perfect square. Okay, we want these two things to be the exact same factors that they create a perfect square. So it's going to be 10 and 10. And you'll notice it's just half, it's always half the middle term. Okay, so then what's missing here? It's missing, well, 10 times the 10, 100. And so we're adding 100 in, we'll subtract 100 over here. And so we'll have a minus 140 when we combine these two things together. So as a result then, this will equal C plus 10 squared minus 140. Okay, and so there it is with the perfect square. All right, last one. Again, separate away the constant term here. Okay, let's pretend like it does factor. Again, we need two numbers that add to make that negative 1,000, but we'll multiply, and we'll give us this mystery number here. So what two numbers that are the same will multiply to make negative 1,000? Sorry, we'll add to make negative 1,000. Well, that's going to be negative 500 and negative 500. Okay, and so then when you multiply these two together, that'll give us our missing term right here. So that's gonna be a positive 25 or 250,000, I should say. Okay, of course, to balance that out, we'll subtract the 250,000 here. Okay, and then combine like terms. So um, that will be negative 190,000. Okay. And so then if we combine all that together, we get x minus 500 quantity squared minus 190,000. And there's our answer. All right, in the next video, we'll look at these next couple examples. All right.